I'm one from Fanny Gold. Yeah, my Liwa. Umunta would have passed Napes, Lunap and Napa, which I'm up and up. Watch my lad, I came my lacacho, and I came my lacacho. This person is a pathological liar. Ikogi, a baramutuna lamaga. Put my ex on your mook. That boy lies with confidence. This marriage was just a doom from the onset. It's two nights before we got married, that guy was in a club. Go, 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 Tembisa. With this guy who bought him Savannah 750 and had sex with him and left him with an STI. I ignored the fact that there was multi involved in my relationship. So he basically came to my life to steal. Mm. He's an agent of devil. You know, Kagutua, this is a weapon formed against you. That child was a weapon formed against me. That child was sent by the devil himself. Kagutua, that child was sent. So when I bumped into your story, um, funny because it's my content producer who brought it to my attention. Okay. Then it's a friend of mine, uh, Luazim Pofu. He's a programs manager at uh, Tax FM. Mm -hmm. So a bunch of people brought it to my attention because mm. I'm not necessarily involved in the content side of things. I let my content producer run wild with that. Mm. But I was like, why are so many people telling me about this? Yeah. Surely, surely this story is worth it. Yeah. You think so too? Yeah, it, it, it was a, a, a very eye-catchy story to start okay. with because me and my ex met on LinkedIn. That, that's a space for employment, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. now seeing the nature of where we met and now it's trending, everyone is asking, hey, what's going on here? You know? Yeah, yeah, so I yeah. think that is what made it to trend a lot. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Before this, yeah. is, is there any part of your life that has made you trend or have you just been a normal guy living a normal life? I've been on TV before, okay, but for the wrong reasons. For the wrong reasons. <laughs> but this time I was just changing for the right reasons, I guess. Why were you on TV before? Quickly. Okay, social social life, family dynamics, yeah. and substance abuse was involved in the past. Okay. And I had to seek help and reach out, mm -hmm. and I happened to be on Yapuza. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah, 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 so, yeah. So that's how I got to be on TV. Okay, okay. So a lot of people know me from that show. Sure, sure. Great. So hence, you you have an audience. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. An audience, yeah, I do. Lucas. Great. Where do you come from? Where's home? Um, And the reason I'm asking this, mm. you'll see why. Where do you come from? Where's home? What type of family raised mm. you and molded you to be the man you are today? Okay. So I'm from Limpopo mm -hmm. in, in a village called Lamondokop in Mujajis Kloof. Okay. So I'm from a religious background, raised by my grandparents. Quite funny that I always say that uh, my father's family stayed one, two, three states away, but they were never part of my life. So I grew I, I grew in a very disadvantaged background, okay. being raised by my traditional Christian uh, grandparents. Sure. And in this village that I grew up in is rural men less infrastructure, less development, and I'm being raised in a church that is traditional as well. And now as I, I get to discover myself, I discover that mm, I'm different, I'm gay. I've got, I don't find girls attractive. And now I grew up highly empty. Mm -hmm, There's mm -hmm. this inner void that I grew up with, which mm -hmm. was caused by my father's family, because why? From my mother's side, we are suffering, right? Mm -hmm. On their end, they're doing very well. Yeah. And these people, I just meet them on the street. And every time I bump into them, they're in nice cars. There's a, there's a nice music, but they'll just go p drive past the young Lucas there. Mm -hmm. And I think mm -hmm. now growing up, I grew up with those resentments that in a way of saying, but I think if I grew up on the, on the other side of the, of the family, I could have been a better product. Mm -hmm. But on the mm -hmm. other side of my mother's side, they were trying. So I, I grew up comforted by, by, by songs, going to church, and that molded me mm -hmm. to this mm -hmm. person that I am today. Why do you think though, you had this religious background. Mm -hmm. I believe you had a relationship with God because yeah. no matter who you are and yeah. how you identify, mm -hmm. there's nothing that can separate you from God. Exactly. So even though you had a relationship from God, why do you think you still felt that void? So now as I'm growing up, right, I never had a sense of belonging. Okay. In a sense that I always moved places, right? I hear you. So let me go back. I'm in primary school. 
My mom is working as a farm worker. My father works somewhere in a fancy mine, right? So I can see my mom trying to make ends meet. Then now, my father is married to another wife and me and my stepbrother in the very same class. Okay. So now this is where the void comes from. Every time my father came back home to visit his family, he came to my school because my uncle happened to be my class teacher. Okay. So every time he came to visit his brother, he happened to also call his stepchild. Hmm. And I'll just hear people saying, Lucas, Papa, how it is? Papa, how it is? Mm, and mm. as I go out, it's just him with his stepchild. And they look so happy. And as I walk towards his car, he's like, oh, go and now shop, 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 And then he comes mm. with excuses. He drives off. That rejection. That, that rejection, right? Yeah. The sense of rejection yeah. comes there. And now I always question myself, what is going on with this man? Is mm. he really, really my father? Mm. Uh, is it, uh, am I who the, the sin I am? Mm. And now I had to go home and say, Mama, but that guy was at school today and he drove off. And this happened quite some few months. And mid-year, I had to change primary schools. Because one, I was violent, very abusive, very arrogant, and very verbally not so good with words. Mm -hmm. And this one time, just before I could uh, be moved from primary school, my father came to school on a Friday and I went to his car again. He gave me the very same treatment. And I had, I grabbed him, punched him. And I'm doing grade seven at that time. Now, when they called my mom in for a school mission to say that your child is not well behaved, just not so long, he had an altercation and apparently was verbal. Now my mom changed me from Limbobo to come to, to, to Joburg. Yeah. When I came this side, now there's a different environment, different culture. I come from a different space. I'm, I'm, I'm in so it now I'm going to deep loof. I, I have to adjust to the whole situation. Sure. So I think, yeah, that's, that's about it. That, that's what has made you up to be. I, I, I won't waste any more time. I want to speak straight about the reason that you're here. Yeah. Um, we all want companionship. Right. We all want to be in love. We all want to sort of belong to someone. Exactly. I'm using the word belong loosely. Mm. But we all just want to know that I have someone in life mm. who's there for me fully, who writes for me, who loves yeah. me, who I can be vulnerable with, laugh with, share memories mm. with. Um, and I believe that you and mm. your recent ex, you will correct me if you guys are exes, if you're still married and, and how that situation is. <laughs> okay. Where did it start and how? Okay. So... I had just cancelled my lease in the south, right? Mm -hmm. Of Johannesburg. Of Johannesburg. I yeah. put myself into a mental health house in Bryston. Okay. Right. So the reason for me to move places was that I just lost two cars in three months. Okay. Now I'm asking myself, Lucas, what went wrong? Let's go back on the drawing board. Yeah. How yeah, do you yeah. fix? How do you get back your groove? Okay, let's move. Let's go to Bryston and start afresh. Mm -hmm. This house now provides the services, right? You're in a house. You've got your personal life. When you come back, there are therapists in house. Okay. There are meetings. We get to engage. We get to speak about our losses. So we're sure. going through the life journey and how we can now mold ourselves and get our drive back. Now, when I'm in this house, I start a business. I'm a founder and managing director of Insusing Outsourcing Services. I do CV revamps, marketing, uh, peer and marketing, and job staff and solutions. Sure. I'm advertising on my LinkedIn, right? An inbox comes through on a normal day. I'm thinking it's a client, mm -hmm. but I shall it, man. I'm thinking, oh, band, born again, go, Nancy, man, Nancy, man. When I go on this inbox, it's high cute. I'm like, huh? On this side, not cute. Let's let's see how it goes. Yeah. Get respond hi. Uh, can I preserve your WhatsApp number so we can go in a private space? I'm thinking, oh, shoot. Maybe what I'm British about my services, of course. Okay, yeah. Now, when we get to WhatsApp, this person says, okay, I've been following your life for quite some long. I've been trying to reach out to no responses. You know, on your social media, there's always that one annoying person that will always like all your comments, like all your photos, and just leave you a lot of notif notifications. Sure, sure. So my ex was that person. Every time I made a tweet or comment or posted something, he would like everything. I accept that. I don't like it. I don't like it to grab my attention. But because mentally I was not there at that time. Now, when he found me in the right space, I was able to say, okay, let's talk. What up, man? He says, oh, I've noticed that, I've noticed that when you're working for this bank, so I work for a bank, by the way, right? Okay. I've worked for seven South African banks. Every time I moved into a bank, I gave back. And that's what I did. I mentored graduates, got them into the system, and got them employed. Sure, right. sure. So when I was working for APSA last year, he reached out to say, hi, Lucas, I see that you're providing mentorship. Can I be one of your candidates? Okay. And I was like, no, I can't. I can't. Mm -hmm. I've got sufficient uh, candidates now. Mm -hmm. Now when he went on WhatsApp, he showed personal interest, rather professional interest. Mm -hmm. 
And because now I'm in a healing journey, right, I had healed myself. And I've been praying about starting afresh. And one of them, Kimujolo, let me find a partner because I'm almost 80. Mm. You know, I've been a fuck boy before, so, so they've, they've said, I've mm. dated for fun. Mm. And I'm like, mm. when 30 years comes, it should find me very settled. Because I give a lot of like my father. You know, you don't want to be like your father. I don't want to be like yeah. my father, really. Yeah. Now, when I want my, th- th- I want my, fa- my life to be fully figured out. So now when he says, okay, I'm looking for, I've been looking at you. There's this interest. And I'm like, okay, what's the interest about? Can we meet? And before we meet, not in, in a guy, these are the qualities that I'm looking for. Okay. I've mentioned them. Firstly, because I grew up being a breadwinner. All my life, I've been providing for my family. The least thing I is to provide for a guy. Let's get that right. So he has to work you, you for have, himself. You have to be self-employed. Do something. Have okay. a source of income. Okay. He says to me, oh, no, that's great because I'm working. Okay. Now I'm thinking, okay, there's a common interest here. I told you, I told you, I told you, right? Now, again, I say, I want somebody who's very spiritual, right? And sp- let's, let's unpack spirituality. With me, I don't believe in African traditional spirituality. And if you do, that's for you, and I'm, I'm, I'm not judging, but you can't engage because of my personal experiences. And he says, oh, no, I believe in my higher power. I believe in God. And I go to this church. He mentions my church. Okay. And I'm like, oh, so regretting you one. Now let's meet for a conversation. Okay. I think that gave me that level of comfort. Yeah. So we go to the same church. He's employed. This is what you're figuring out. Yes. You go to the same church. He's employed. He has his own income. He's independent. He's independent. He stays alone. He stays alone. Yes. You go on the dates, yes? So now I say to him, I stay in Bryston. I unpack my life. I'm in this healing journey because of what, is, what has happened in the past. I'm trying to heal myself, right? Okay. Once again. And he seems to, to, to be understanding. I'm like, okay, let's meet. I invite him. He comes. For a conversation, of course, I want to explore him. And I come with my, ho- sure. with my housemate, a white person, by the way, who's sure. a friend of mine. We arrive on the date. You know, I, I was also looking for a medium ugly person. And here's the reason why. A medium ugly. Medium ugly. Okay. You don't want to have that person. Have that personality. He would be like, no, man, I'm cute. He would be like, no, man, I'm not sure. He would be like, no, He would be man alone. Okay. Right? I was looking for that kind of a person. And he, he ticked. Because the smile is brightening the face. You know? In English, please. Our audience will shout at us. Really? Yes. English as, as much as possible. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, you, so you, I'll, just, I'll just paraphrase what you said. Yes. You said you're looking for a medium ugly person. Exactly. Because you're saying he mustn't be too hot. He mustn't uh, be too ugly. Exactly. Because if he's in the middle, nobody will take him. No one will. Okay. Right. Now we get, now we unpack. Who are you? Where do you come from? What do you do for a living? Yeah. And he, 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 he gives me the right answers that I need to hear. And I'm, I am are you even Googling these answers? Because you sound so right in, in, in your speech, right? Yes, yes. And he says, no, it's because I am hard groomed. I am disciplined. I've been through life. Hmm. And now I am ready to settle. Mm-hmm. I've also been looking for a partner to settle mm-hmm, with. Mm-hmm. Can I take this off? Hey family, a quick one. Over 87% of you are consuming this content every single week, but are not subscribed. That means you are enjoying the growth conversations, but you are not liking, you are not subscribing, and you are not sharing it with others. So please, I plead with you, please subscribe so that you can share the love, you can share the growth, and you can share this wonderful platform and wonderful safe space with others as well. Enjoy the episode. Again, I said to him, you look so disciplined, right? Yeah, yeah. And it is because of my life experiences. And I tell him, I've been through a lot. Life was never unkind to me. Mm-hmm. But I'm so much kind to myself now, right? And I'm single. Let's explore something. Really, there was something there. Now, fast forward, I said to him, okay, because I'm a forensic specialist, I do documents every single day. I ask him, or can I please see your CV? He sends a CV. A CV on the date. Yes. Can I please see your CV? Because okay. I need to see what you're all about. Right? Yeah. I go through his CV. Okay, he's a graduate. He's a chick. Okay. There's some, we can work out something here. Sure. Checking the CV, there's an employer. I, there, there's a position there. There's a title. Now, I, I say to myself, look at this money here. Okay. And I'm not looking for his money. Mm-hmm. There's money for him to sustain himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. 
And I say, can I see your, your, your employment contract? Hey, man. Yes, because you know I'm asking all of these reasons, right? Yeah. In the past, I've met guys who came to me to say, I'm working, I've got money, we're going to be good. But as I go dating, I'm the one who's paying. Okay. So I'm, I'm, I'm saying to myself, at this point in time, I need to make it right. I need to prove that this person, who he saying he is, yeah. he sends me an employment contract. Like, oh, okay, good. Now we can have a conversation. I'm comfortable. Fast forward now, we leave the date, we're happy. We haven't announced ourselves as, uh, we haven't basically said now we are dating, but okay. we're, there's something. Yeah, Let's have yeah. a conversation. Yeah. Fast forward, the following day, he, he makes a post on his WhatsApp. He posts a lady who happens, a lady who happens to be my friend. Mm -hmm. This girl is a, is, a, is a singer at church. Okay. He posts a video of her singing. Graibo, you know that girl. Sure. He says, yeah, that's my political sister. Now he's red, he's red, red flagging me. This person is my political sister. Girl. Oh, really? She's my friend of five years. Wow. I sent her, I sent him a photo of me and the girl. Girl, that's the girl, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, yeah, oh, oh, no, no. Actually, no. He's not my political. She's not my political sister, but she's she's a, she's my she's, she's my friend. Okay. Girl, have you guys met in person? No, I just follow her on social medias. I was like, oh, maybe those are his defects of character. Let me note them down and tell him about this later on. Mm -hmm, I'm mm -hmm. moving on now, we're exploring the relationship. That's why Kibonur, this person is a pathological liar. Put my ex on me, that boy lies with confidence. That boy will, will braven up his voice and just lie and bothered and provoked. Right? Now I figured out that he lied about the friend, about the friend, the, the friend issue. Mm -hmm. But on my side, I checked it, right? Now I ask myself, okay, Lucas, this person has sent you these contracts and this CV and now they just lied about this friend that you know and they don't even know each other. Let's do his employment background checks. Okay. To verify that, right? Okay. I call his employer on this other day. On this other day. Hi, good day. I'm doing a verification of, of employment for this candidate. The employer was like, ah, we cannot make a comment. We are not saying Ramut Eva, no, we don't know him. We are just saying that you cannot make a comment. Oh, oh, really? I go back to him and say, hi, how's work? He says, oh, I'm busy discussing a new position. I just got a, I just got a promotion with, with, uh, with my employer. Life is going to be good. Okay, which employer, by the way? He sends me another contract. A fake employment contract now with just a different salary increment. Right? I'm looking at this document. Okay, oh, this is just to validate or he got a, a job promotion. Okay. He's happy. Okay, okay where in Santin do you work? Can we meet for lunch? Again, on that day, I was like, no, I can't make it now. Let's meet tomorrow because my boss is very toxic. This person is micromanaging me. He comes with a bunch of excuses. And I'm even thinking of quitting. I'm like, but you just got a job. You just got a job promotion mobile work. How do you quit now? You know, mm -hmm. you should be celebrating. You should be praising God. Yeah, you should yeah, be singing yeah. those hallelujahs now because now God is showing up in your life. Yeah, yeah. He's like, oh, no, baby, I'll explain tomorrow when we meet. This guy wore a suit every single day from that day. Coming to Santen to meet me, pretending like he was coming from work. Every single day, that 12 will send me a DM, a, a text. Hi, babe, I'm going on lunch. Please send me money for lunch. I spent on that guy. I've been sending lunch money each and every single day. I ignored my own investigation. I said, no, the, thing, the fact that I'm, I'm a forensic investigator does not conclude that maybe this is false, mm -hmm. as I'm thinking it is. Mm -hmm. Let me put this aside. Let me date differently. Let me explore where this is going to, of course, right? From the, the fake employment contract, he says to me, okay, babe, because you revamp CVs, please revamp my CV. Mm -hmm. Guess what? His CV comes with Lucas Mudiba as a manager for that company that I know nothing about. I'm like, huh? How did we end up here? What's going on? Yeah, yeah. I've never worked for your company. Mm -hmm. And with me, because you want me to check your CV in the banking sector, I'm well known. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, All mm -hmm. these banks know Lucas Mudiba. You can mm -hmm. never do this. They're going to red list you. Please work on your CV and send it back. He does his CV again. It comes with another person as a reference. Now I was like, okay, we need to, we need to have a, a conversation. What's going on? Did you lie about who you were? Did you give me a false uh, presentation of yourself? Because now all these documents that are coming through to me now are alarming. Hmm. Firstly, you lied about my lady friend that you didn't even know. Hmm. You got a job increment. Now you want to resign. Now you make me a reference on your CV. What's going on? 
and says to me, oh no, babe, you know, uh, uh, I'm so mentally not okay because this place that I work at is highly frustrating. And because I've been under toxic leadership, I understood, right? And my advice was like, do not resign now. Sure. You can never leave a job to go stay home yeah, and yeah. not have and, and not have a source of income. Yeah. It is better to buy the antidepressants on Zulu or sure. than to be home and not afford any, Correct. right? Correct. Now I call him for a meeting because I'm, 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 I'm triggered now mm -hmm. by all of these documentations sent before me. What's going on? Are you really, really the person that you're saying you are? Aria, I am, and baby, I want us to move in together. Now, over that good that chapter. I want us to move in together so we can get to know each other very well. And I tell him again, let's go back. Remember, I'm in a healing center. I'm going to be discharged here after three months, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. And if you want us to move in together, I have never stayed with a guy before. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm against cohabitation because of my own personal reasons. Sure. I don't think I'll embark on that. It's just not on my preference list. If you want us to stay together, because now I have to tell my family, they need to know where I am. And you probably need to know where you are, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And he says, okay, get a lease, check out of, out of that place, let's stay in together so you can now lend me fully. Okay, okay. I'm like, but before we stay together, let's get married first. You are waking, I'm waking, right? We can afford to get married since you are ready. And with me, of course, I'm a huge fan of 90 Day Fiance. And he says, oh, let me share that channel. Oh, now we, we found a common ground. And now we say, let's tell our families. Yeah, darling, Katazo, my daughter. Immediately when he say now he's telling his family, his mother calls me. How dare you on earth, you gay my child? How dare you on, you on earth, you send a demonic evil spirit on my child? This child was born a male, now he's gay. Ever since he met his life, Ever since you came in into his life, everything has been going so wrong. And I say, what do you mean everything has been going so wrong? Firstly, he does not have a place to stay. Secondly, he's unemployed. Okay, no, wait, but maybe with all respect, right? I think direct your call to my aunts because now if you recover, you, I'm going to answer you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she says, no, this is not the very same child that I sent to Johannesburg. Ever since he met, he has changed. He's a liar. We don't know where he stays. He's not sending money in, uh, money home anymore because of you. That means you are eating his money. Hmm. And I'm like, uh, let's, let's, let's rephrase. Now I work for a bank. So my benefits are all financial to start with. Therefore, I would never suck out money out of anyone. Hmm. And I've never ate any cent from your child. I call him, huh? Your mom called me. I got, I, I got a Facebook text from his sister, by the way, asking, hey, my mom wants to speak with you. Uh, it's regarding your, your, your boyfriend. I gave my numbers, the mom called me. And I'm like to him, your mom told me that you're unemployed. You don't have a place to stay. You're hoping for a place to place. Mind you, I don't know where he stays, even today. You're hoping from one place to place. Yet you say I should get a lease so we can stay together. I, is that your escape to poverty? Hmm. What's going on? Now this lady sends another voice note, by the way. The mother. The mother. Yeah. You've also opened, opened a company and I am aware that you want to sleep with my child so you can perform a spiritual ritual on him. Hmm. And I'm like, but my company has got nothing to do with him because I don't work with him on my services. And as far as I'm concerned, your child is working, right? And Lungelo, I ignored all of those. When I, when I gave him this information that came forth, he was like, oh no, my mom is jealous because she's not married. She, mm. she has children from different fathers. You know, the whole family is jealous mm. of me because I'm successful, I'm a graduate. Mm. I've got a boyfriend who cares for me. So baby, ignore them. Mm. And it made sense to me to say, well, let's ignore them. Let's start this. Let's get married with or without their approval. Sure. Right? This is after how long knowing him? Two weeks. Okay. Now, fast forward, we are preparing for the wedding. Okay. And I'm like, oh, I don't have a budget for this. Okay. Right? You are working on your side, right? So that means we're going to go, we are going to go 50-50 financially. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That first week we arranged it. And I happened to tell my aunt that auntie, I'm thinking of getting married. But I'm 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 unsettled because of this voice notes that I'm getting from the mother. Sure. I sent them to my aunt and my aunt said, okay stop everything, postpone everything for now, let's call it for a family meeting sure. and, and let's unpack everything because yeah. you don't know each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now this guy is busy red flagging you and I want you to proceed with caution, okay. right? I'm like, hmm, okay, don't delay, okay. That's me. <laughs> okay, don't delay because... Yes. She's married. 
Ona le monna le bana ndifuna ukuba apha ke nami. Yeah yeah. No I'm not going to postpone. I'll let me ignore her. Yeah. While we are on that journey, he comes to Santana again. On this day when he came, he came with a pamphlet for my company with my services. On that day I was like, "Ah ah Lucas, this person is legit." Is 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 a great administrator. Look at this pamphlet for your services. Marry this guy. It's going to support you. You are going to help that support structure. Even business, he gets Even it. Even business, he gets it. Understand yes. my mission and vision. Yes, he knows yes, I'm going yes. with this thing, yes, right? Yes. He ran with it. Now while we're on that part, my cousin died. Okay. I had to leave for Limpopo. Okay. And when I left, I gave him access to everything. My businesses, my financial accounts, in case he needs to make transactions, right? Hmm. I linked him as a beneficiary, hmm. and I gave him uh, authority uh, signatures on my account. Hmm. Right? I went to Limpopo. I came back. Everything is still okay. Okay. I got the trust there. I gained the trust okay. there. Okay. Now, when we are supposed to meet and unpack the wedding, what kind of a wedding do you want? He takes out your Instagram content. Everything is expensive. Everything's glamorous. And I'm thinking, oh, okay, it's great because you are working. You're, you are working, right? We are gonna go go fifty fifty. Sure, sure. Uh, babe, pay for everything today. I'll cover you on the twenty fifth. Okay. Why? No, because I get paid on that day. And please let's set our date to align with your pay date. Yeah. So you can be able to cover for everything. Okay. And to me, it made sense, right? Because now I I I get paid earlier and it gets paid late. Yeah. Why yeah, not? Yeah. And I've gained the trust now. So while we're busy arranging for the wedding, I call a pastor. Okay. Can you please come and officiate me? We are on the fourth week of knowing each other. Okay. I, I want to get married this Sunday. Okay. This week four. Week four. Okay. I want to get married this Sunday with yeah. this guy. Yeah. I'm so, so in love with him. Okay. I trust him. Yeah. He has done this much for my business. And based on, the, on this reasons, I'm comfortable with okay. him. The pastor says, let me have a conversation with him. Okay. I passed out the numbers. I don't know what they spoke about. He came back to say, I cannot officiate you guys. Please go back and speak with your partner. I'm like, Mrutu, okay, well, hi, nyalwa. this pastor's not married. How do I even expect somebody who's not married to officiate me? Correct. Let me get somebody who's married, rather. So, so he's jealous. He is. Yeah. He's not married himself. Yeah, yeah. So how can he officiate while he's not married? Let me get someone else. I spoke with a friend. He referred to me, this, to, me, uh, me to me to this pastor who charged me 3.5. I paid on front. Now we, 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 got, we, we, took, we took out inv invitations, the, the day comes, everything happened. What's the day you're taking out invitations? We took them on Wednesday. For Sunday? For Sunday. Okay. Because it's something very intimate, right? Yes, yes, I yes. I wanted a garden wedding. Okay. And he approved with four people from his side and four, four from my side and our friends. But now to my surprise, no one came from his side. He came alone. He brought himself to the party. Hmm. Because why? Everyone is jealous. Everyone is against this. Go, 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 habo. Everyone is thinking I'm after his money. Therefore, they're not supporting this. And I was like, no, it's fine. As long as you're happy, let's go ahead with it. As long as I love you, baby, we'll be happy. Bon, yes. Let's do this. Yes. Guy came alone. On that Sunday wedding, I've got a new pastor who's supposed to officiate, right? The pastor asks him some questions. One of them was like, uh, what work do you do again? He was like, oh, I'm a manager for this company. And I'm listening. Can I um, party? Oh, okay, let me shush. They're not talking to me. Mm, mm, My mm. cousin comes. Remember now everyone is meeting for the first time sure. on our wedding day. And they've got questions. Mm. Because you guys met for four weeks now you're getting married. What's going on? What's the rush? Yeah, yeah. My yeah. cousin asks him, where do you stay? I stay go mid rent. I'm busy doing my checklist. I'm dressing up. He's answering from the other room. I'm he, I'm listening to them. Sure. But he keeps busy. Going, no, maybe he's, maybe he's confused because they're shattered. Maybe he's, there are nerves, you know. Yeah, yeah. Can't yeah. lying. I know he's lying. I know he's uwamaga, and I, I'm puzzled. But the party is to go on. Yeah. People yeah, are yeah. here. My colleagues are here. Everyone is mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. My other cousin comes. Where are your family? Where's your mother? Are she died? <gasps> <laughs> okay. The pastor was like, okay, Lucas, come. He pulls me aside. I love you. I've been supporting you. However, I cannot officiate for you guys. Hmm. This is the second pastor. This is the second pastor. Yeah. I cannot officiate for you guys. Please speak with, with, with your soon-to-be husband because I feel like you guys need to have a conversation. Mm -hmm. Are you sure you want to do this? Mm -hmm. Are you sure it's not too rushed? Girl, no, it is not. Remember with 90 Day Fiance, you meet somebody today, you don't even know them. This is a stranger. 
the aim of this period is to get to know each other. So, so, and so. because you guys now are green and you, you have unpacked each other's life and you're comfortable, you go ahead, ahead with it. Let me go ahead with it as well, right? Is that for me? Yes. <laughs> oh, thank you. I explain how this rule works. Yeah. How the Shidei Fiance works. I unpack it to them. They're like, no, that is for white people, Mara. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. think you, you still need to know your, your, your fiance girl. I love him. Once again, they are jealous now. They are jealous. They are against this. Yeah, yeah. And once again, okay, who knows you? I know who is married, but Mojolo Hayokar, there's something wrong with it. But let's not wait it's, this guy get a couple goals. Yeah, yeah. How yeah. dare you pull a wedding in four weeks? No yeah. one can do that, right? Yeah, because yeah. they have to be proper planning. Mm -hmm. But now I'm doing it. Mm -hmm. It's because of their financial backgrounds. Now I'm financially okay. Yeah, yeah. We don't have many problems in this relationship. Yeah, yeah. Sunday, we get married. A friend of mine officiates, right? And mind you, we've never been together outside of our, our, our restaurant dates, right? We've never. So in these four weeks, we've never we've only been hiking and, and just kissing, okay. mwah, 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 just decent things. Okay. We have never been in intimate space. Sure. Really true. Mm -hmm. Right. There was always a third person when we met. Now we got married. We leave for a hotel that night. Okay. That Honeymoon. Kind of vibes, but it was not. But it was just a place to sleep because everything ended so late. We get to the hotel. He says to me, the first thing that he says to me, on this day, two days before you got married, you spoke with your ex-boyfriend when we're doing our hair by the salon. What is going on? He's raising his voice. He's shouting. He's screaming. He's angry. Okay, yeah, I spoke with my ex because he called to say, Congra. Like, okay, cool. Sit down there. Please bring your phone. Huh? Are you still the very same person that I got married to? Oh, yeah, I am. Bring your phone here. Please unlock it. Okay. I'm thinking because of Shiba, because of Nio, I'm going to up. Because he's angry. And his voice has changed. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I'm, I'm asking myself, are you still the very same guy? I unlock my phone and I hand it over to him. And I say, wait, just before you go through my phone, please bring yours as well here. Yeah. I think that's how we do things now. Let's get to know each other. Open your phone as well. You open this phone, you throw it on the bed, I reached for it. Yay, can't you booze. As I go through his WhatsApp, there are two WhatsApps linked. The other number, I don't know it. So when he said to me that my family is angry, my family has disowned me, guess what he did? On his other second WhatsApp, he wrote those messages himself, forwarded into his number that I have, took a screenshot, babe, look, this is my mother, she's angry, she's disowned me, I've got no place to stay, I'm stuck with you, therefore you have to do right by me. Mm. And when those conversations came, con conversations came, I was concerned about his mental health, that mm. He's, mm. he's disowned and he's saying he's choosing me. Mm. You know? Hanti, hey! Was it type on the other WhatsApp to me like me? I'm reading through, mind you, he's thinking I didn't switch through to the other WhatsApp. He's there busy on my phone, going through my chats with my ex-boyfriend. Get okay. Now I see this, uh, this other chat, a very interesting one. He has a history in Pumalanga. He owes people money there. He's running away. They're looking for him. I'm like, okay, what's going on here? There are legal letters. Letters of demand for money. Hmm. They want their money back. Like, huh? Okay. I've got his ID. This corresponds. Mm, mm. My, my eyes are not deceiving me. Yeah. I'm like, okay, it's fine, but let's peruse through. I get a peruse available. Let's peruse through. Check these conversations. Two nights before we got married, that guy was in a club. Go, 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 Tembisa. With this guy who bought him Savannah 750 and had sex with him and left him with an STI. And on that day, he sent me a text to say, I'm sick. Send me money. Hantu ya go to to buy the antibiotics. Hmm. Go to conversation. This guy asks him, "How are you? Are you healed? Are uh, my man who is no longer dripping? No longer dripping?" Hmm. I go, "Okay." So I'm in a facility. You are busy having sex, and unprotected one for that matter. Hmm. You left evidence of cheating. Hmm. I'm not telling him, by the way. This is just me and his phone, and I'm looking at him. Now I'm like, "Okay, 
Let's go back on LinkedIn where we met. I opened his LinkedIn, it's a new account. I searched myself on that LinkedIn, I'm blocked on it. Mm. The very same platform that we met on. Mm. This on the night of our wedding, by the way. Mm. In the hotel. In the hotel. I am blocked on that WhatsApp. The I LinkedIn. mean, on that LinkedIn. Yeah. I am blocked on it. Yeah. I'm like, what? Let's go on Facebook now, right? I go to his Facebook. Yo, my email. There are six accounts linked. Six. Six accounts. Two different names. This one's di different uh, users. Four. One is with my same name. I've never given him my same name, by the way. Hmm. Because we're not in the home affairs. One with my same name. The other one is linked to a forex scammer trading. Dun 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 dun. Hmm. The other one is linked to, to where he gives people jobs and they pay him money. Hmm. The other one is the one where we share a lot of mutual friends. On this other uh, the Facebook, I'm blocked on them. Hmm. I'm like, okay, I think now we need to have a conversation. Yeah. Right? I call him, hi babe, sit. I'm done with your phone, are you done with mine? He's like, yeah. And I'm like, this is what I just came across. Mind to explain these profiles? Mind to explain what is going on with you? That's where he says, okay, babe, I'm willing to change my life after a dark past. Uh, I, I, th th those are truths of my life. And I'm willing to leave them behind and start afresh. And I understood, right? Hmm. Because everything happened before me. Okay. Therefore, I cannot fault him on that. Can hold the, that to him. I can't. Okay. Next thing in his life at that time, right? Sure, sure. I'm like, but how do we fix this? Because now we need to come with solutions. This machine is our bad. And if they, they find us in the very same space, we don't you. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I want to be part of that. Yeah. Please make payment arrangements with these people. As of now. But then let's talk about these other accounts. What's going on? Mm -hmm. His response was like, let me deactivate. Let me delete everything and start afresh with you. I'm thinking this is our night of our marriage. This is our first night together. Okay, it's fine. He deleted. And we moved on with the conversations, of course, right? Following day, I have to go back to work. I leave for work. He calls me when I'm at work. Hi, babe. <laughs> I, I, I happen to go speak with a friend of mine. I'm very much remorseful. I've done an introspection. I'm, I'm willing to settle down with you. Let's get committed. And I'm understanding it because it's remorseful. Oh, but it's for what more do I want from this person? Correct. I'm accepting, right? Yeah, yeah, and we're moving yeah. on. Yeah. That following week, week five, on a Friday, we spoke up until 1 a.m., right? 1 a.m. Get a good night. Give a baby. Give a boo. Give a hack. Give a mic. Go lead, man. Right? 3 a.m. He calls me. I did not answer because I was sleeping. I'm, 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 I get one against the wall. He calls me. Okay, because I was saying I sent him a text that it is on two ticks. He's not answering. I get to work. He calls. When he calls, I'm outside my, my office, right? My colleague answered. She came running. Look as your husband is crying, is looking for you now. Quickly call him. Everyone is panicking. My, okay, colleague, my, okay. colleague, my colleagues know him. Yeah, yeah. I've made it public. I call him, he's crying, he's on tears. <gasps> I'm thinking, what, what's going on? What is yeah, wrong? Are you yeah. okay? I'm concerned. Correct. What's going on, sure. babe? He's I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, did his family come for him? We are along. Babe, they broke into our house. They took everything. They took my phone. They held us. They held us. Uh, gunpoint is a twin. Me and my twin. They took everything. We need money now. We need money now to settle rent. Also, going to get chased out. I'm thinking you are new. He's crying, man. And I'm thinking, okay, let's send the money. This person is in danger. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I do the EFT. Now I've done the EFT. Let's talk. Babe, what up? What happened? I'm asking all the questions. Babe, ka, ka one, they broke into our house. Get which one? Because when you spoke, ka one. Oh no, because I'm mentally confused now. I'm, uh, uh, ka, ka three. But ka three, you called me on WhatsApp again. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He gets his time all over. Okay, did you open a police case? No, we are panicking for our lives. Do you know these people? No. Where did this happen? In Angola. Where's Angola? In Tembisa. Didn't you say you stay in Midland? Oh no, I mean. I'm like, okay, Wizard, let's go back. 
Lucas, I'm at work, by the way, right? Mm. I, I, I tell my boss, I, ca I can't work for the day. I need to go home. There's something wrong with my husband. I'm concerned. I love this guy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I'm concerned about his safety. I'm concerned or not. If they're broken, they hear them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now my colleague drives me out of the workspace because now that call that he made, the first call, everyone was asking, Lucas, is everything okay? Yeah, yeah, Is, yeah. is your husband okay? Mm -hmm. Now he left me seven missed calls, remember? I call back those numbers because I get to his phone, does not have a phone anymore. Hmm. I have to reach him through all of these numbers. I call the first number, it's only a guy answers. I'm like, hi, hi, is this, is, is, is this my husband? He says, oh no, he went shopping. He went shopping one time because he's supposed to go to police station to check on the case. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, Abuti, don't get me involved. Please, please speak with your husband, he disconnects. I call the second number. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm looking for this person. Ah, uh -uh, this person was just here with his brother now. But according to me, they're not okay. The caller's like, how do you mean? These people are okay. These people are fine. They, they just went shopping now. They went to the mall. Get okay, wait. Where are you guys? We are in Tembisa, in, in a place called Angola. It's a squatter camp. What are they doing there in the first place? Because they don't stay there. No, they live in this shack. The, mm. the shack just behind me. Mm. That's where he stays. Mm. Ah, yes, this check belongs to your husband. Okay, okay, okay. Now he calls me back. Babe, thank you so much. Now I'm okay. You know what happened? They, they broke in. Remember I told you that I'm moving out from my place into a new place? So as I was moving now, but babe, what's going on? Because according to me, you stay alone, you are independent, you are waking, you've got your life all figured out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I was supposed to, we're supposed to meet this weekend so we can see your place. And, okay, I lied about one thing. Then we go back again, the lies. And he now says, I actually lied about where I stay. I actually stay in Tembisa, but not the bad side of, of, of Tembisa. The, 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 the lotion part of it. Mm -hmm. I had a back room there, but because I lost my job, I had to go stay with my brother. I could wait, which job did you lose because I continue working? Huh? Oh no, remember I told you my boss was toxic, so I resigned. When did you resign because you're always in Santen? I was just with you more, Bani. You dressed, no, 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 suit. Hmm. I took him out for lunch. Oh no, babe, I think I was hungry. Now, now I'm confused to the core, right? I'm confused to the core. I'm asking myself, what is going on hmm. with this person? I again call his employer. Call the very same number. I go on internet, I Google the number. Call them. Good day. You're speaking. I, I, I quote the name of my company. There's this person th that applied in my, uh, at, my, at my company and I want to hire them. Can we do some background checks on them? They're like, are you his sugar daddy? Hmm. Please say stop calling us. Like, okay. Hmm. I call him, babe. Since you resigned, I think it was an unfair that you resigned because it was toxic. Those employment con contracts that, that you sent to me don't make sense to me. Let's involve a lawyer just to unpack this. Hmm. I call my friend who's an attorney to say, please help my husband. Come say we were high because he resigned and I think he was not okay. Yeah. When I sent everything to him, are Lucas. Those are fake. Those things he self-drafted them. Had it in. This child never worked. He's a fresh graduate. That work experience on his CV is fake as hell. I'm like, fuck, I do my own. Hmm. I count everything. I say to him, mind you, I did not get my refund for everything for the wedding. Hmm. I covered everything for the wedding. Hmm. He just brought himself. You know, he began to say, maybe he'll come to say, babe, let me meet you halfway financially. He didn't. And I was like, it's fine. While on that, with the attorney, a, a, a call from an estate agent comes through. Hi, Lucas, your husband has selected this place for you, to guys, for you guys to come and view because he wants you guys to move in math end. Hmm. So I'm supposed to now pay for the place, pay a deposit for us to move in because the broken one thing is no longer safe for him. Hmm. Right? And I'm like, babe, I think we need to to meet me and you and let's have a conversation. And before we do that, I think let me suspend our communication for now because there's a lot coming through. Okay. I can't process this. Mm. And all I hear is your voice, right? I need to hear my own voice now mm -hmm. and hear me think properly for without sure. you yeah. outside of this relationship. Yeah. I blocked him everywhere on that week. 
where I was supposed to get the apartment for us. I blocked him everywhere. And I blo I'm blocking him so I can hear myself think. Okay. For once, let him hear my own voice because I've been hearing his voice, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. As I block him now, I ask myself, what did I miss in these five weeks? What did I miss in these five weeks? He calls me with a different number while at it. Babe, uh, my brother is here. He wants to speak with you. Your brother? You have an elder brother aside the twin? Yes. Remember I told you Renali first born Yaya Abuti? According to his best friend who comes from the very same village with him, why should I have a little bit of a thug? Why should I have a little bit of a thug? Because I was a thug. Right? They killed him long ago. Now I'm supposed to speak with a ghost, apparently. I, I mm. ask him, babe, which brother? Because according to your friend, I mentioned the name of the friend. According to your friend, your other brother died last year, and also in your Facebook. There are final photos. Yeah, yeah, which one yeah. is this now? He's like, oh, no, babe. He, 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 he's, he's my mentor. How is he your brother if he's your mentor? Firstly, you said my friend was your friend, was your political sister. Secondly, you said you're working when well, you're not working. I think I'm uncomfortable, right? Because now in this relationship, I've been giving, I've been giving. Every single day, I've been sending money for lunch. How you come say everything? Every time when we have to meet, I have to send money for him to come to me. How am I sending money for a barrega? Hmm. Right? And he also lied. He said he can sing. He can't even sing. Now I want someone who can sing for me. Well, like when I'm going through a lot, I just want a heart soothing music. <laughs> just to have my partner caress me with music. Ah, oh, it's horrible. <laughs> it's beyond the hooded mic, right? Yeah. And I asked him, first person, you can sing. I asked you to sing for me. I was, I was forgiving. Secondly, you said to Asebeza, you stay in these places. When I, when I say, let me come to your place, how about? You know my family, you know where I stay, you know everything about me. Right? What's going on with your life here? Who's fooling who? Are you sure you are who you are saying you are? And he says, no, I think you are high on drugs because I've seen you only a pussy that you take drugs. Right now, at this point in time, you are high. Mm. And because you are high, it means you're not mentally okay, you're not thinking straight. I'm like, okay, let's talk back. That's an old script that you're using. Mm. Now we are fighting, by the way. That's an old script that you're using. It's an old script that I did with Moja Love. I don't know. Once an addict, always. I don't even understand how you work for a bank. Mm. I'm like, but you're, you're moving away from the conversations, right? I want us to unpack this so we can move in comfortably. Sure. Right? There's a place that I'm supposed to get for us to start a new chapter together. We are now six weeks into this thing. There are a lot of red flags. Every single day I've been reflect. What's coming tomorrow? What more is coming? He's like, okay, we'll meet tomorrow. He, he hang up, switch off his phone. I couldn't reach him. When he came back, he came back with a confession. While I was away, I went to speak with my therapist friend. And while we were busy because it was emotional, I just happened to get closer to him and we just happened to have sex. And I'm thinking, okay, this is for the second time we're having sex. This is for the second time. Before, we didn't have sex. Every time when you are depressed, you have sex. With other people. With other people. And they buy him alcohol. So, and I was like, That's what made me angry. 17 rand 50. A whole 7 rand 50. Every single time when he's depressed and going through a lot, he has alcohol and they have sex with him. And the worst part, they leave him with infections. And when Bamus Lega those STIs, I have to send the money for him to go get help. Right? Hmm. And I'm asking him, uh -uh, I think let's terminate this. Let's dissolve this wedding. Let's dissolve this marriage. It is not working. Ara Abuti. This Thursday, you're going to home affairs. I've booked us home affairs. We're getting married. Go home affairs this Thursday. I'm thinking, whoa. Okay, God, what do I do? I went back to God, right? I'm a child of God. I went back to God to say, I'm, I, I'm, I'm conflicted. I feel highly disconnected from my inner voice. I can't even hear myself when I think. All I hear is his voice. All I think of is him. All I think of is how can I make things right with him? Hmm. All I'm thinking of is how do I now, go to this, this rubbish, achy face thing, how do I cover it? So it's got to like, come on, because one, Everyone knows me in that bank, mm. right? Everyone is talking about me in that bank. My family is accepting now, is welcoming. How do I go back and say, Rahadi, this is what is going on? Mm. My aunt has a master's degree in edu ed ed educational psychology, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So every time I speak with her, I'm speaking with a same person. Sure, How sure. do I go back and give, give it back mm -hmm. to say, mm -hmm. I'm thinking, I can't tell anyone this. I can't 
disgrace my husband to that extent. Mm. I also have got a dark, a dark past. Sure. Right? It's just mistakes, maybe. Maybe he's going through a lot. Everyone yeah. goes through a lot. Yeah, yeah. Maybe these are just social circumstances. Sure, sure. Right? While on that, he says we are getting married, go court, and it's going to be under community of property. Before we agreed, before I said let's get married, right? We agreed on the contract that we want a prenup. Mm -hmm. And I told him why I want a prenup. Now I've been working for this past 10 years. I've got financial mistakes. I've got sure, debts, sure, right? Sure, sure. I can't share my debts with him because he's still young. Correct. And that, that, that would be highly unfair of me. And I thought he understood. And he says, oh, no, to show that we are married and we are committed and we want to make things work, we are going to get married under community of property. Okay. But I'm thinking I'm not in agreement. Let's take a pause. Let's postpone to next week. We'll visit that call. This marriage was just a doomed from the onset. He says to me, let's meet. When we met, he smelled nature like plants. Mm -hmm. A different smell from his fragrances that I knew. A different smell from his normal smell. Mm -hmm. It's not weird, man. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking, are you out of fragrances, babe? I call Winnie's fragrance. That's my cousin who sells fragrances. I call Winnie's fragrance. I'm like, we. Oui. Where are you? She's like, oh no, I'm in the morning side. I'm like, good shot. Please come to Santin. Bring my husband fragrances. She comes with a box. She gives him those fragrances, right? We leave. The following day again, we meet. Now we're going to our hotel again. Okay. Because the house we're staying, they don't allow visitors. Okay, because it's like a healing center. Exactly. Yeah. We go to a hotel again. I left my bathing stuff go going room. When we get there, I'm thinking, let me use his because we are using the same products from the very same uh, supplier. That's my cousin. As I'm showering, he's on his phone, he's drinking Savannah. He's an alcoholic, by the way. And after he throws tantrums, he becomes a child, he speaks. He's annoying. He speaks non-stop. That time I'm, I'm asking, I don't drink alcohol, right? I don't mind you drinking, but not to this, to this degree. Sure, sure, sure. And I'm showering, I finish. I run to his bag because I need to use his products. Cosmetics, yeah. Right? Yeah. As I go, they give me a bag, he runs. No, where are yours? Girl, no, get it right. But I can't fix it. Let me use them. As I take out the lotion, she gave him a pure white lotion. Mm -hmm. It had concussions. It had some mixed herbs. It had mutsuha koman. It was horrible. It smelled weird. Now that smell is the very smell that... He smelled yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Now, this is the products that are smelling that way. There's muti in that container. There are plastics of muti in his back. Hmm. Mind you, this is the guy who said he does not use muti. This is the guy who said he does not believe in traditional spirituality. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And as I say, babe, hey, what is this? Why did you put in here? Because a weak man. A weak man. We can look at and now let me call my son because we mm -hmm. like cleaners. Mm -hmm. No, wait, wait. And my aunt told me to go manage him. Then I was saying, I see, see, it's not like I'm missing your 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 I told you very well that I do not believe in that. Sure. Those practices, I've got a horrible past with them. Sure, I used sure. to go Sangomas myself, mm -hmm. right? There was this period of my life where I was Sangoma hoping. Mm -hmm. I even went to an extent of buying this group. And this group was supposed to bring me money. Mm -hmm. During that period, I lost everything that God gave me. I lost two cars. I lost jobs. I lost money. I yeah. hit drop bottom. Yeah, and I'm yeah. thinking, this guy is taking me back there. Sure, sure. God is, God is taking me out of that life. I yeah. can't go back there. Yeah, yeah. And I've explained this to him that I, that life I gave back in near me, right? And he makes a call. Well, he ignores me. It's like a, a news where he makes a call. He calls his son, my Scobella. Hi, Baba. Ulukas, Utolela, Makuntina, Lawaya. Man, she says, I'm late. I'm late. Thinking, dude, let's pause. Let's pause now. You know what? This is not working anymore. This is not working for me to start with. Because ever since you came in my life, that healing journey that I was on, I'm back to zero. Mm. I am spiritually confused. Mm. I've never used multi for the past one year. Got August, this one year, August, I was celebrating my one year of spiritual awakening. Just August. 
So now how do I go back there to that life? Well, I told you, I can't start with pillow boy. I'm gonna uh, no, you you are not following the instructions very well because na vela ngati ni abona ngatu pay mi lega manch. Lento spare ma yonji. They make you go to ngalandi imlay yologash. Eya mi go be lanji. Utope. She's going to teach you how to do things. Like okay, you know what? I'm going home. I'm not sleeping here. We're not doing this again. Really, we're not doing this again, right? I packed my stuff. I left. I left him there. I left. I went to my place. But when I got to my place, I thought to myself, you left your husband there. This person is your husband, by the way. So the, the option to leave doesn't exist because he's now your husband. Yes. That's the confusion you were having. Yes. Yeah. I can't leave him. We yeah. need to unpack what just happened. Yeah. yeah. Because with me, I don't believe in leaving things unsettled. Sure. I want us to sleep peacefully. Mm -hmm. I go back to him to apologize. And I go back. I'm, ap I'm being apologetic for opening his bag without his consent. Hmm. I'm being apologetic for wanting to use his products because I've got nine, right? And as I apologize, he says, I'm, I'm glad you are apologizing. Now let's call my gobela. We have to go to Tembisa tomorrow morning. Oh, gosh, gosh, now you stay in Tembisa. He now says, yes, where do you think I stay? He takes out everything now on his phone. This is the that I stay in, idiot. I'm not working. Mind you, I've been distributing his CV. I have been rooting for this guy, hmm. right? I've been on my LinkedIn, I've been promoting his profile hmm. because my LinkedIn has got recruiters only. I'm like, this, guy, this, this person is amazing, it's brilliant. I ignored the fact that there was Muti involved in my relationship, right? I said, we're, we're, we're heading to week seven now. I can't divorce after a month. I mean, after two weeks, I can't divorce. We're clear about I mean, because that... When I check myself on Breville essay, I post a poster man. I'm like, yo, is Tima Sam? Yeah. That's your appeal up. Yeah. I'm not leaving this guy. We have yeah. to make shit work. Yeah, yeah. We have to make it work. While at that, his mom calls. Hi, Lucas. We are setting a date for Sunday. You have to come pay Lobola when? Because you've taken our child. 40,000 rare, but like a, a, a Sunday, you should come with your aunts. Now I ask him, what did you say to your family about me? And how did you define yourself, go family near how? Because to start with, you're not a lady, you're a man. Mm -hmm. I'm marrying a man here, mm -hmm. right? And when I first met you, I said, okay, but an independent man. But throughout this marriage, you've been taking and taking and taking. Sure. I've been providing. I'm exhausted now. I've even forgotten about my self-care. During this period that I've met this guy, I've forgotten about my basic needs. If you look at my phone, it's horrible. The screen is cracked. Hmm. But every single day, I'm popping out money to this guy. What's going on with you? You know, he ignored me like nothing is happening. He calls my aunt. He says, me and Lucas are fighting, and I don't understand why we are fighting. He calls my spiritual mentor from church that he knows. Me and your friend are, are, are fighting. I think you're not mentoring him very well spiritually. Hmm. He's not responding positively to this church thing, this guy. You should just leave it and drop it off. This guy is manipulative. How good to a picky picky like an That is, yeah, oh, cross again, long fan. Oh, oh, security, right? And I'm like to him, to my church mate. Do you know? Do you know this guy? Between me and and him, what do you know? You know me, right? Why are you taking everything? He became a victim that was protected. His ways were justified. He was mm. cherished. Everyone took him of high level. Then there was me who were to defend La Manila when we were together. Hmm. And on that day, I went back home just to pray. And when I pray, I can't even articulate because I'm confused, right? I don't even know what to say. Because now I'm here. There's Muti involved. This guy, I don't even know who he is anymore. Everything that he said he was was a lie. I don't know who he is. There was a lady that he introduced me to as his sister. That is his friend. There are two guys that he said they were his cousins. One of them is his ex-boyfriend that he sleeps with, that he shares the money with. Hmm. The money you gave him? The money that I gave him he eats with his people. Hmm. My dear child that I wake up every single day and work and wake hard for. Hmm. He drinks alcohol with them. He goes club in his apartment. a go man to get a I don't go to clubs. And there's nothing wrong when he does, right? That's his preference and I'm okay with it. But the lying and how he gets the money. On the last day now, when I said, 
I, I can't. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If they are laughing, let them laugh. I'm also laughing because oh, this is a lot. Yeah, yeah. I said I wanted to marry, I think, Nijahili. Mm -hmm. As much as now I wanted to get married, I think I've achieved the goal. Okay. Now let's embrace divorce. Yeah, yeah. Because why? There's also insurance fraud, right? Mm -hmm. This guy asked for my ID. Mm -hmm. What if he has insured me? This mm -hmm. is me to myself now. I fear for my life. Man. Sure, sure. What if he has insured me? What if he's just push, pushing for the 90 day uh, period so he can get money? Mm. I called the, the estate agent. I am Gulama Win. Tell him to pay and go move in that place. The agent called him. He called me. I told him, no, we're not doing this anymore. I'm, I'm now standing firm, right? I'm pushing myself first. First, you found me on a healing journey. You came into my life. Wamosha, everything. You know, when people come into your life, some people, when they're in, in your space, there should be growth. There should be harmony. There should be peace. There should be some godly foundation. There should be improvements. I was wrinkled up. This place only coming back now. Mm. I was dark skinned and, and so, so, so thing. You know how thing I am now? We go worse. Mm. It was worse doing it because all I thought of was like, how can I make things right? Yeah, yeah. Because also when I tell people, but good to, I talk a lot. Because I talk a lot, I'm the perpetrator. Mm. Because it's all reserved as a victim. Mm. So my personality got used against me. Mm. On that day, I called him to say, you know what? I know, I've had enough. As much as I really live for this lineage, you are alone in this. And as I'm leaving this, I'm making a post on my Facebook. Say, Gupele, ni, 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 ni. don't contact me anymore. Right? That's how my marriage ended. On that day, I took that bold decision. I called everything off. Right? When was this day? <sighs> this is this month is 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 that's a, just a few. If, I'm not sure. It's September a, now. A, a week late late July. Okay. Just a week after. Oh, we didn't. This is very new. This is very new. Yeah. We didn't even we didn't even stay two weeks together after getting married. Hmm. We didn't. Ah, two weeks are so you won only a week. It was party over. And after that, I check out in that house in Bryanston, right? Because I'm no longer achieving my goal of being here. Yeah. yeah. Ever since I came here, I, I'm always the one to say, my husband is doing this. And everyone is tired of me. Hmm. Mind you, I stay with white people. Hmm. And what they've taught me in that house was self-care, mm -hmm. self-love. Put yourself first, Lucas. And every time I go back to my council to complain about the very same thing, there's no progress report here. Hmm. You're, you're just wasting my money. Hmm. I'm paying cash. My rent in that house was 10.5 every month. Hmm. 10,000 for what? For me to speak about this guy? What value is he, is he bringing? Hmm. Nothing, right? I'm leaving him. I checked out. I called off everything. I went back home to Limpopo. I only came back last week. For the whole of August, I was in Limpopo. When I get home, I get home to my confused grandparents. Remember, I, I'm from a village, right? And from this village, I'm very much popular. When they refer to a gay, they know Lucas. Mm -hmm. Any gay example gets to be gay Lucas. More gay is about Lucas. I want to wear it. If you go to move up with Lucas, yeah, yeah. I come back. My grandparents are disappointed. My grandparents are hating. As I get home, my grandparents are confused. They're disappointed. I get home. So when we greet each other, go hi. We handshake. Hozo go go hozo. When I get when I came home on that day, that hand. I was so impressed over little horse so that peace be with you. Yeah, they yeah. didn't. I'm like, what is wrong? They're like, we were in church. They called us. They showed us your photos. My nyala wenzi lape kuli. I visit like it's on when go to when I shout it and shout on fun. And on top of that, within few weeks, you called everything off. You have dragged this family to the mud. I was saying them to the mud. And velo mukuba wa kona because velo wa yoku ya puza. So it means you're back on your old behavior. Mm. And they were justified, right, Lungelo? Because correct, correct. Last week I was, I got married without informing them. Yeah. Because I'm thinking they're against everything. Mm -hmm. You know, my healing journey started there at home with my grandparents. I had to say to them, I'm a gay person. I, I, I don't think you guys were aware for, the, for this uh, 25 years that you've raised me. But now I'm a gay person. And that guy that I married, I met because I loved him. And I married him because he said he was of the very same God that I go to. Hmm. The very same church that I yeah, go to, yeah. to. I go to. That caused conflict with my grandparents. Oh, he's also from church. Yet you didn't know about this? Lucas, we are so disappointed in you. You know, I felt so dirty. I felt so disgusted. And above all, the annoyance came from the fact that the marriage failed. Hmm. And 
while I'm processing everything, how do I now say to myself, it's okay, it was not yeah, your fault. Yeah, yeah. I tried everything to make yeah. this work. Sure. You know, if they say, I, I put my money on the table for this marriage to work. I put my emotions. I ignored my own self. And the focus was just on my husband. How do I make th things right by him? How do I make sure that it's okay? How do I make sure that it's well sustained? Even when now I established good Lomundu, he lied about Rukchi I said, Lomundu. Now he goes on my company's pages. He starts accessing them. I see notifications on my emails. What is going on? He says to me that, you know what? This business is ours. But I met you long before. Sorry, I mean, when I met you, the business was already existent. What's there to claim? Nothing, right? This is my establishment. You know what he did, Lungelo? That boy is highly cruel. You know what to do? He went on those pages. He changed the credentials and linked everything to his personal emails. Hmm. I couldn't access my own organization, hmm. right? And he changed the company names. He rebranded. Opened it open this own establishment out of my services. Out of my own work. He opened his own establishment out of that. He just went, made additions, erased my name, put his, erased my name, put everything, changed my cell phone numbers, put everything that is his. Mm. So he basically came to my life to steal. Mm. He's an agent of devil. You know, Kogutua, this is a weapon formed against you. That child was a weapon formed against me. That child was sent by the devil himself. That child was sent. And also his family, you know, I didn't know or the mother was against this. On the very same account, why would you say I'm against this but I want money? Why should I pay to, 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 to you while you're against this? Hmm. He came in to suck me dry. He came in to benefit. This guy googled me, googled me. He checked all the banks that I've worked for. He thought there was stability, and there was, of course. He thought there's more to this. And I forgot this point where he was saying to me that uh, I want a living allowance. And ask him, I work for my money. I don't know, but you're sleeping with me. So when you sleep with me, you have to give me money. I'm thinking, are you you're a woman? You're a woman because what I know of is that oh fabula is a vanawen. So man, now I have to give you money for sleeping with you. Are you selling? Make it clear. If it's a transaction, make it clear. Tell me. I sleep with you, I give you money. I'm very okay with it. I've done, I've done it in the past. Hmm. But don't come and say you are married, give me a living allowance. Where's your money because you're awakened? That marriage never worked. That concept, that beautiful concept that I had never worked. And I came to a conclusion to say, it was not my fault. I've given it my all. I tried to make everything work. Yeah. Just last week, after I ended this marriage, I got a Facebook text from this girl. Just to me, I want my money. Your husband that you got married to scammed me money. And because we are now, so now I'm implicated in his shit that I knew nothing about, that he has kept away from my life. But, but now I, I'm implicated because people reach out to me wanting the money. I've never ate his money. Not even one rent. That child was hungry from the onset. I fed him. Every time when we met in those fancy restaurants, to me, Lungalo, dating is very much personal, right? When I'm not financially okay, I don't date. You can ask all the guys that I've encountered with. Me now, when I'm not financially okay, I just tell them, hi, I'm not financially okay. The only thing that I can do if you are cute, because otherwise, must challenge you. I opened that chapter for sexual uh, encounters. And when I'm okay and financially okay, I can date. Because why, one, I, I will never project my social needs to someone else. Can I afford them myself on my own standards? Yeah, yeah. Can yeah. I? If now I were to say when we go, that child every time when we ordered, he was ordering two meals. One for him and the one I take away. And there was no rest. He was no rest. He was no rest. He was no 
Lucas, there is absolutely nothing wrong in life as we open this conversation to want love, to seek a pure love. Right. And maybe other people will judge you and say you you loved too quickly, but mm. really what is the duration according to whose standards? Nothing at all. Um, so as we as we end this conversation, I just want to say thank you for sharing your story thus firstly. Mm. I you're a person of God. As I mm. said also when we started that we can never be separated from God, no matter exactly. how far we think we can go yeah. away. But God always opens room for us to go back. Right. So all the spiritual things that you went through, mm. I hope going home has helped you to reconnect with the church. Very, very. Going home has helped you to reconnect with your family. Mm. Remember that your family are there for you. They're there very, to support you. Very. They now know who you truly are. Mm. So you've crossed that hurdle um, and you will never have to fight about that again. Never. But please take time to yourself mm. uh, to find yourself. Uh, oh, I've got a weapon, by the way. Uh, <laughs> no. Now I'm a sucker for love. I love, 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 loves me. Boys love me. I love them back. A boy came through a chungawari. Hi, Muni Warni. I can see so. And this one works. I've been to his workplace. I've been to his workplace. I've met his boss. He works. He's got money. This one is legit. There's a new one. Lucas Modiba. There's a new one. Yes. And he's fully aware that in 90 days I'm getting married again. Because why, right? <laughs> I'm never going to stay with a guy. You want me we're getting married. So because of that horrible experiences, I've learned what I need to learn. God taught me all the lessons. And this one guy is not medium ugly. He's handsome. He's I'll educated. see you guys on the next episode. <laughs>